we would be focusing on conversion of units. And in this lesson, we'll be converting milligrams and grams. It's very important to know that when we are converting from a big unit to a small unit, we multiply. And when we are converting from a small unit to a big unit, we divide. We are converting from grams to milligrams. It's important to note that one gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. Here, the first thing we have to convert is one gram, and one gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. When I'm converting from a big unit to a small unit, what I do, I multiply. Let's look at the next example. Here we have two grams. If I want to convert from grams to milligrams, I need to multiply by 1,000. Two by 1,000 is going to give me 2,000. So two grams is equal to 2,000 milligrams. Let's do another one. Here we have 2.5 grams, and we would like to convert grams to milligrams. Again, one gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. If I have to convert 2.5 grams, to milligrams, I need to multiply 2.5 by 1,000. What happens when we are multiplying by 1,000? We have to shift the decimal point to the right. How many zeros do we have in 1,000? We have three zeros. So it means I have to shift my decimal point three times to the right. Let's do that. One. Notice I don't have another number. So I put a zero. I move it, that's two, put another zero, I move it three. So here I moved my decimal point three times. So 2.5 grams to milligrams would be 2,500 milligrams. Okay, let's do yet another question. I have 7.66 grams. I like to change it to milligrams. All I need to do is multiply by 1,000. What happens when I'm multiplying? By 1,000, I have to shift my decimal point to the right. I am multiplying by 1,000, so I need to shift my decimal point three times. One, two, I don't have another number, so I put a zero and then move it. So 7.66 grams, the milligrams will be 7,660 milligrams. 7,660 milligrams. Let's look at another example. I have 0 0.478 grams. I would like to change this to milligrams. I need to multiply by 1,000. What happens when we are multiplying a decimal by 1,000? We shift the decimal point three times to the right. One, two, three. So my answer is 478 milligrams. So 478 milligrams, okay? Um, Maya has eight grams of flour. How much milligrams can she get from eight grams? Yes, it's a problem, but this question is simply asking us to change eight grams to milligrams. What do I do when I'm converting from a small, a big unit to a smaller unit? I multiply by a thousand. So to know how much milligrams we can get from eight grams, we need to multiply it by 1,000, and we will get 8,000 milligrams. Now that's it for converting grams to milligrams. Are we going to look at the opposite, converting milligrams to grams? So now when you are converting from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, we need to divide. Okay, and we're converting milligrams to grams, so we will be dividing by 1,000. 1,000 milligrams to grams would be one gram. How do I know that? Because I need to divide by 1,000. 1,000 divided by 1,000 is one. Let's look at the next example. Here we have 5,000 milligrams. I'm going from small to big. So I have to divide. What am I dividing by? I am dividing by 1,000. How much times did 1,000 go into 5,000? Five times. So 5,000 milligrams, two grams is five. 
Our next question, we have 5,350 milligrams. I want to convert it. I want to change it to grams. So I need to divide by 1,000. How can I do this? Again, we learned decimals, and if you haven't, check out our tutorials on that. Okay, when we are dividing by decimals, we can move our decimal point to which side? When we were multiplying, we were shifting decimal points to the right. Now that we are dividing, we are shifting decimal points to the left. Okay, so where is the decimal point understood in this number? It is understood to be after, it's right here, after the number. So if I'm dividing by a thousand, I can shift my decimal point three times to the left. One, two, three. Okay, so 5,350 milligrams to grams would be 5.35. Grams. Okay, let's do our next example. 8,625 milligrams. We would like to change this to grams. What do we need to do? Divide by 1,000. Okay, what am I going to do? Where is the decimal point understood to be in this number? It's understood to be after. So I'm going to shift it to the left. That's what we do when we are dividing decimals. We shift our decimal point to the left. One, two, three. So we are getting 8.625 grams. Let's do yet another question. We have 4,210 milligrams and we would like to change it to grams. So what we need to do here is divide by 1,000. Okay, I'm going to shift my decimal point three times to the left. So one, two, three, my answer is 4.2. Two, one, don't necessarily have to put the zero, grams. Okay, so 4.21 grams. Let's do one more. I have 7,468 milligrams. I like to change it to grams, so I have to divide by 1,000. I'll shift my decimal point three times to the left, so I am getting 7.468 grams and this is it for converting milligrams to grams okay